playing games that you've probably never heard of, part one. So I went through a whole roguelike stage in gaming, and I mean recently, maybe like two, three years ago. And so that kind of gives away today's game, but I mean, gives away the genre of the game. But today we're talking about Rogue Spirit. Rogue Spirit is a 3D roguelike action game with very light stealth elements to it. In Rogue Spirit, you play as the ghost of the Prince of the Kingdom of Midra. You're brought back by your loyal followers in an attempt to rid the evil that has infested the land. The way that this roguelike plays is that you get to possess your enemies after you've defeated them. There are tons of different enemies with different weapons and fighting abilities and true to any roguelike, you also pick up special abilities along the way as you move through different stages or as this game calls them, biomes. Now, Rogue Spirit's relatively unknown. The most stats I can get on it is that there's literally two active players playing this game. On the website, How Long To Beat, there are no stats on how long it'll actually take you to beat this game or even the replayability of this game because the player count is so low. According to Steam charts, it actually reached negative playership territory. Now, if I had to review the game, I obviously have played this for more than an hour. I got to the first boss. The game is decent. It's a tad bit clunky in its gameplay. Many of the times, I don't know if I'm supposed to sneak around enemies or if I'm supposed to just start attacking enemies because sometimes you'll have enemies that are patrolling by themselves and then you'll have giant groups of enemies. Then there's also challenges where waves of enemies come at you. I don't know if I'm just stupid. You can just call me stupid, but I did a challenge and I almost died because I had no clue what the challenge was. It just started, but then I realized in the small print at the bottom of the screen, it was telling me to parry enemies in order to kill them. Now, I think it's very bold to set a challenge in the first level of a roguelike as that because parrying is not my forte, but I mean, when you just start a game and your first immediate challenge while getting jumped is to parry about 10 enemies in a row or else you die and lose the level. The gameplay looks really cartoony. It's clear that they were going for a specific audience for this. I'm assuming they were making this game for a younger audience, not an older audience. And also back to clunky controls, dodging is really difficult and repetitive sometimes. There's also not enough downtime between enemies' attacks to kind of roll out the way. I mentioned before, I got to the final boss of the first kind of like two biomes, which are like the villages. And the bosses like charge and AOE attacks are sometimes really hard to dodge because you have almost no time to move out the way. And now I understand this is a roguelike. It's supposed to be super hard and really difficult. But the thing is, in most roguelikes that I've played, there have been speed upgrades or dodge upgrades or kind of like special abilities that protect you when you don't, when you get into these scenarios. Now, Rogue Spirit's available for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. However, unfortunately, if you play it, let you know after everything I've said, if you play it, the game is released, it's fully released. However, the game still feels like it's in development. It plays like it's still in development. It seems like it still needs updates over time, but I kind of think that these developers are kind of done with it. If I didn't mention it before, it's published by 505 Games and it's developed by Kids With Sticks. And it's really unfortunate that developments ended because you could have really taken this game to another level in terms of roguelikes by adding in things like I've mentioned, like changing boss mechanics, adding in speed abilities, maybe even rotating in a different cast of enemies. Most enemies just seem like they're reshells of each other. I thought the character that fights with a fan and the character that throws blades out were the same thing. They look exactly the same, exactly the same skin, just different colors. But there you have it. There is a game that you've probably never played before. Now, don't forget to follow me.